I started noticing around three days of age that Sienna was uh, having unusual movements and uh, took her into the hospital and they confirmed that she had a seizure disorder. It's very, very scary. You don't know what their future is going to be. You don't know if they'll talk or walk. I was very isolated. Doctors didn't even know the name of the disorder. And uh, it's lonely. My husband and I were, were searching the internet, trying to find anybody else in the world that might know something. Sienna has an enzyme deficiency that results um, in a backup of a biochemical pathway such that she can't break down a certain aspect of her diet. Um, as a result, she becomes B6 deficient um, because one of those toxic metabolites that backs up sucks your B6 away. So essentially she can be partly um, treated by giving huge doses of B6. That's one of the roles that JEDI has. When they see that she may have a seizure, they give a, a dose of B6 right away. Jedi helps him. She's a seizure um, alert dog, and she alerts it, um, before the seizure happens. Well, Sienna's just a the, one of the most outgoing children I've ever um, met, and she's totally game for anything. And so it's really nice when you see her in, in, the, in the context of her family, just do so well. And we really want to just see if we can take that quality of life to another level. There are probably half a million Canadian children affected by one of these rare genetic diseases that we uh, describe. Right now, what happens to most of these uh, children is that they see multiple specialists, they have multiple investigations, they have MRIs and all sorts of things. And then several years later, you might sort it out. Uh, this needs to change such that it's much more rapid and timely. So the CFI um, is providing infrastructure for our site as well as three other sites across Canada. My personal uh, excitement about uh, the piece of equipment that we're getting here is uh, one of these next generation sequencers which will allow us um, to study um, babies in the NICU who have uh, been born with some differences that probably is secondary to a rare disease such that one day we'll be able to return a result and diagnose that baby within days. I've, I've turned my fear around to hope. I think, I think that I can start thinking that there might be an actual cure, and even if it's too late for my daughter, the next families may not have to go through what I had to go through and my husband.